All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be starting off on Everdream for this series. As we have spawning in the top right, the Red Zerg, representing Brave Star Gaming BSG. It's the Canadian Le Zerg, First Lady of Zerg. It's Scarlet. And spawning in the bottom left hand corner of Everdream LE, we have the Korean Protoss representing TGP. It is super. And you know what? I really appreciate Scarlet because she's one of the players who makes sure make sure all the casters are in game. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's always it's always a treat when we manage to catch Scarlet in um, ESL Open Cups Asia or things of that nature. She al she also always um, makes the game with casting tool as well. Um, game heart. Yeah, sorry, game heart. Let's look. It's been a yeah, no, casting tool was uh, got integrated. Yeah, casting yeah. tool as well. You know, she's she's on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she literally travels <laughs> travels to Yaku's house and just types it. <laughs> so, just magically teleports back. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Accurate. Um, but it seems now will we see what we saw from Super in Game One? Maybe you know that early you know uh glaive to depth timing into you know into a more macro focus oriented game or does he have something special for scarlet here so i guess we'll have to see yeah we'll have to see and again like it's it's become a little bit more common especially because of zest i will <laughs> I, I i imagine um yeah, yeah. So the Glaive Adepts have, you know, been more in fashion recently. But again, we'll see how Scarlet does, and we'll see if Scarlet has anything up her sleeve. Since she, you know, she is more of a, I don't know if I want to say cheeky, but she can, aggressive. she can mix. The, yeah, she can be real aggressive when she wants to be. Um, mm. Well, Super's delaying that third for quite a bit. Yeah, and already mm. we do have that Twilight Council on the way. Yeah. So third base, already getting taken here. Twilight counts on the way. Now will Scarlet be better prepared than uh EF for this? Uh, I guess we'll have to see as first step is gonna come in. Scout. Surely no gases are taken. Mm -hmm. So he's like getting rushed by a Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting what Scarlet's wow. doing. Yeah, we do have a lair on one gas. Mm -hmm. Are are we gonna see an Idis? Oh, roaches. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Never mind. The false alarm. <laughs> well, yeah. And this, I think she was just getting the lair just ready for the upgrades. Mm -hmm. But the glaze about almost half away done. About I want to say about a third away done here. All right. Five, six, eight. No, not four. Be yeah, three apes. The way done. Yeah, yeah. So it will fi be finishing up soon. Gosh. So far, Scarlet hasn't gone in yet for for any sort mm -hmm. of scout, actually. Yeah, I'm guessing she would have noticed by now if there were if it was Stag or anything. Um. <laughs> so Zergy so can relatively play a bit more safer with Protoss. But the thing is, you don't know exactly what their tech is. That's yeah. the problem. You can cancel some out after some time, but you need to know, exa know exactly what the tech is. Yeah, and I do like this. Scarlet is threading creep in her base, just in case the War Prism does go into that dead area there. And we do have the Adepts hitting the third, but there's not nothing quite here just yet. Let's get a couple of larva, larvae. Ooh, they get a roach. Steve, we're gonna use his uh shades. Doesn't complete the shade. Yeah. He's too many roaches there for him to. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, doesn't complete the shade. Instead, does back off and behind this getting a third base. So this is a similar thing to what to what Super did to EF, where yeah, in game one. 
yeah, Super gets the glaives. He gets a, a solid amount of adepts, oh! goes out and doesn't really do much That's with exactly it. exactly like game one, except maybe not canceling the spy this time. Yeah, yeah. So Scarlet could play, you know, she could be show EF how it's done, um, in a sense. Maybe EF is watching. We'll see. Um, the adepts, they are moving out once again, trying to see what they can get done. But again, Virtue's already out. Like, Scarlet should be good. Mm. Well, these righteous are always trying to pick up a couple of these adepts here. Mm. As that spy is almost about to be finished up and guessing by that amount of bank gas, I'm guessing we're gonna see some mutilists gonna be coming and starting. Yeah, and mutilists are gonna do so well against this army because yeah, Blink is on the way, but so far there are no stalkers. Like the majority of the army here are sentries, and they can be focused down by the mutilists as the first handful, the first seven actually, are already in production. Oh, finally, here comes a hallucination scout by Super, but it's a little bit too late. He will spot the Spire. Uh, I don't think he did. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he spotted the Spire. Go in front of the Luke scout. Yeah, it looks like he's saving up for that. Meters are out, but they haven't gone across the map yet. Okay, now they are starting to fly out. But Super will cancel, get a cancel on this fourth base here. Yeah, I'm a little bit actually, surprised. Army, actually, Super could potentially get this third base as well. Yeah. But now, and he, okay, he's even going to be you know, dealing with these mulets at home. Nice force fields, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, there's the second round. The observer actually goes down. But how could it's the Whoppers and Marco here from Super? One immortal does get saved, the second one. And one vial going down onto the warp prism. Second vial will not land. That one immortal so low. Merely has to go in. And Scarlet, I feel like, has held this for now. Wow. As... And how many Mews died? Let's see. It was uh, only three. Only three. All the Mews come back for the warp prism. Oh. Boy, but uh, actually it's reinforcement of stalkers and getting blink forward just to start picking off these mute accounts here be really decent only two meters left but scarlet has got way more army yeah i was Super's about to i was about to commend super because even though he got pushed away at scarlet's third base like he he traded so well and he was able to save both of his immortals in his war prism um his micro was just impeccable but scarlet came back with the with the mutilist and she was able to snipe the war prism as well as the immortals like that was insane and with that scarlet is looking so good in this series yeah more mutilist on the way plus one melee baneling speed as well Fable lands and two Colossus on the way here for well, Super. I don't think that's the right call, especially with a Spire out. Right yeah, I'm really surprised. I mean, uh, just because there's a Spire, he should know that Corruptors are an option. Are like they could come out at any moment as well. Um, but does decide to go for Colossus instead of Disruptors. Uh, but now the Muta Micro coming in for Scarlet does manage to pick up six more probes. Keep that comedy of super down. And now the first Colossus is out. Femmerland still about halfway done. Plus two attack for ground as well for super here. As now he is looking to, you know, just keep this, like his base is like nice and um, well defended here against these roaming band of mutilists as Scarlet decides to double expand here. He's got the fifth base as well, the extra gas at the purple geyser. So, this is looking like Scarlet just wants to take that economic lead even further. Yeah. Three workers already? I mean, like almost. Yeah. She, I mean, well, she has the freedom to do so after winning that fight, and you saw that the supply went down to what was it, 12 supply or something along those lines? Like, oh my god, so many Ravagers on the way, and yeah, the double expand just droning up as heavily, and she's maxed out. Jesus Christ. Yep. Sag printer go brrr. <laughs> As, oh my god, that is a lot of cannons there to help defend that I, base from yeah, Super. I, I love it. 
I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. um, but now, I, more sentries getting warped in here. Scarlet looking like she wants to push across this map with her max out army here. Um, oh yeah. Trying to get Banelings, trying to connect onto this army, but you know, the Stalkers can blink away from this. They can, and they do catch a couple of morphing Banelings. Um, oh, but has to be so careful, so conservative with his blinks. Meanwhile, we do have the Mutas trying to do some counter harassment. Um, there is a cannon and a shield battery here, though, so I imagine Super should be okay. Oh, that's a, he's pulling back a lot of his Stalkers. Ooh. Yeah, all the Stalkers in single file as well. But that is a lot of Colossus here. I will say that, and a lot of Stalkers as well. I don't feel like Scarlet may be able to push it out. Blink forward, Biles trying to rain down onto the army, but they can blink third. Favor, bang, like try to connect for onto the Colossus, but all of them still stay alive here. Yeah. And Super, he's winning this fight. The Mutas up in the top left aren't doing anything, no. Counter-attack as well. <laughs> and to say that, and Super holds back Scarlet. Wow, yeah. Oh my god, those shield batteries helped so much. So many of them were basically completely drained, keeping the army of Super alive. And the Bailey connections just weren't there. The the Stalkers blinked forward and dodged most of them. The Colossus all stayed alive. And now, oh my god, this is Ooh. looking so hard. But oh, the Bailey's are rushing oh, the in. Bailey! The Blink Viper is there, trying to get it on. All the sentries have died. One Colossus does go down. Second one has to be Devil on very low health, but that's the fifth phase going down The Scarlet. No more. As the Mutas try to come in, I only got two probes there. And Super is just continuing this push here. Yeah, there's not really He's much here fight. stopping him. Like, there's, there's roaches, sure, but there's no but there's no Bailings. There's no um, Ravagers either. Oh, has to be so careful Ooh. though. Yep, Muta's just pulling back the stalkers a bit. GG is called. And Super is going to take game one. What just happened? <laughs> do you, okay, hold on. Do you, do you know what this reminds me of? Kind of? This kind of reminds me of Mia Micah versus Beast Lork. <laughs> Where... Scarlet got maxed out. She was one what yeah. getting a sixth base, you know, she was getting hive. Hive was on the way as well before that fight happened. Um I, I guess like the positioning and the army composition just wasn't ideal for her. Like the, the Mulus didn't really do anything either, which you could argue is wasted supply. Yeah. Um Yeah, but I mean also Scarlet didn't put twenty ultralists against four immortals and lose them all. <laughs> yeah. In case you haven't seen that, that 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 is just a sad game. It it's um, it's it's a big oof of a game to say the least. Big oof. <laughs> um but yeah, it was just so odd to see because Scarlet she went for that big engagement and we we saw right all the all the mutilists that were just in the top left corner not really doing much at all. Um, I was expecting them maybe to come in from the back try to to attack the Colossus or something, but they just weren't a part of of the fight at all. Yeah. yeah you know, it's just looking like, you know, all these, like, it's, it, I don't know, like, what, like, Scarlet looked in such a great position. She was maxed out. Mm. Um, and I just felt like, you know, maybe she just took that engagement wrong. She didn't really focus down to Colossus as much as mm -hmm. she probably should have. Yeah. Um, there were some nice force fields from Super, actually. Um, so maybe that's why, but, you know, I just felt like, you know, maybe, could uh, maybe focused a bit better, but looks like, uh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, as um, we are getting ready Oh my god, there are so many casters oh. jumping into this series. It looks like. Um... I, yeah. Just don't tell the skull light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still entering lobby. What? Oh, um, hold on. I'll send you another invite. See if that helps. Uh, I got lobby bugged. Oh, um. Tell me quick.
It's okay. Um, we are currently waiting, not just for Quirky, but for Funka as well. As Coco is also requesting to just, you know, for a couple of seconds before the, the series starts. Uh, meanwhile, Ollie is clarifying that the, you know, the entire bracket has to be played out. Uh, for seeding purposes. Uh, just let me join from friend list. Beautiful, just in time. I mean... Yeah, yeah, so the whole bracket's played, so you can get that first seed. Yeah, people in chat are saying that, you know, Scarlet, she was working towards, you know, that hive, that Broodlord tech, but it seemed like she tried to end the game with the army composition that she had, and it just wasn't ideal. Um, speaking well, of... Anyway, <laughs> yes. We are on Purity Industry. The first time I'm actually going to see this map today. Yeah. Um, on this stream. And spawning on the 12 o'clock position. Oh, right about, you know, the one o'clock. No, 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 yeah, 12 o'clock position. Is the Red Zerg from Canada. Representing BSG Gaming. This is Scarlet. BSG. And in the three o'clock position of Purity and Industry LE, we have the Korean Protoss. Representing Team GP, it is super. Yo, something's happening. Oh. Something's happening with this uh, drone. What's this drone doing? Is, uh, are we gonna see a proxy hatch? Are we gonna see uh, it? Oh, we're gonna see that the natural is what we're gonna do. Beautiful. So Basically. we. <laughs> go, go yeah, she was on. like, "You're blocking my natural. I'm gonna take your natural instead." That mm -hmm. be fine. So Super should start pulling drones. Uh, start pulling SCB. Uh, probes. Yeah, officially get the worker. Um. Thank but... you so much, Maddox. By the way. <laughs> yes. And Acon TCs. Yeah, I actually haven't seen in ages. He's playing. Yeah. That anyway. he did. Mm. But does seem like, you know, sell it already charging in these lings, you know, starting to chase away this probe. The natural will be taken. Yeah, so. Actually. Okay, that's the second zealot. Yeah, I don't know if you saw um, Mew Micah versus Probe. Um, the. No, Demi Dare... versus Probe. Oh, no. Yeah, the Dare um, Open Cup finals uh, of this last week. Um, me and Micah did this versus Probe every single game of their best of five. Oh, she cancelled as well. She didn't even finish it. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Look at that middle. Yeah. And now Super doesn't have enough to take his natural, so... <laughs> now I could do this again, potentially. Yeah, potentially. You know, she can just be even more annoying Ooh. with this worker de delaying it, delaying the natural of Super. Um, and she even scouted the Twilight Council as well, so she knows what the follow-up is. Yeah. Yeah, but does she know what upgrade it is? <laughs> That's going to be the problem, but Finger Skull is still on one base here. I don't think it's so super, but you could do so much more as a personal one base compared to a Zerg on one base. Yeah, and that drone is still alive, Jesus Christ. The amount of scouting information that Scarlet has gotten is insane. Meanwhile, there are a lot of units here across the map. Yeah, taking those uh, two Zealots plus an Adept as well, you know. You could do a bit of damage and combine that up with a second Adept now. Yeah. Those links stand no chance. 
Yeah, but it does look like in the end Super does decide to return home. Does man manage to scout, maybe even get a couple of worker kills, but does decide to cancel the shade in the end. And a Roach Warren is being gotten behind this. Very different to game number two as, sorry, game number one as previously Scarlet focused on getting the, the lair first before the Roach Warren. This time though, getting it a little bit earlier. So we could be seeing some, some Roach aggression. Seem like it. <gasps> uh, Ooh, almost snuck in. Nice save by the probe there. Hmm. To keep out those lings, and that could have actually been pretty devastating. As now Super gets two drones of his own. Yeah, and Glaives has finished for the Protoss player, so this Adept is going to be getting more and more worker kills for so far for two Adepts. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, breaking even on the old mineral count. Um, but yeah, actually, Scarlet may potentially be losing a uh, Mythical Lord here. Still yeah. pretty fair base taken by Scarlet just yet. Really surprising. There we go. Looks like Scarlet was trying to go for a third base, but the Zealots from Super are here looking to delay that. Oh, more depths even. Well, you just keep on forcing the army of Ling's back. Well, they even complete the shade into the natural. Uh, but this Roach is there now. Actually, they may just decide to focus down drones here. Already two going down, three. Yeah. Just one, four. And you get a fifth. Uh, oh, uh, fire. Yeah, almost gets a fifth there. So, so far, super trading fairly well. Um working on this sentry army but i feel like this robo is pretty late all things considered finally it gets finished up and we'll see i imagine a warp prism maybe mortal first i would say mortal first or even observer first mm. you know, get that uh, but you had pretty much good scouting off with the um what you thought that's another spire gonna be uh coming in here i love it i love how like we've just been seeing this so much and i don't know if it has to do with our region and and how like scarlet is so like out of meta or, or always going for these like kind of strange um tech switches but we do have a spire once again coming down from scarlet and on a map like purity and industry um mutas can do so much more just because the air distance is so much shorter mm. yeah but you do have those uh cubos there Populars um, that slow you down. So, but even then, you can still do some pretty good micro. That is a lot of sentries. Jeez. That's a lot of sentries. Um, and we did have. We don't even have an immortal with this army. It's just pure sentry, and I imagine stalker um, with this war prism. As blink is going to finish up soon. Um, never mind. Turns around. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I was about to say that would have been a bit of a weird push, you know. Yeah, it was very odd. Oh, but is Super gonna scout the spire? He does. Yeah. The firstborn shall persevere. It nice and good there. Yeah, Mortal finally on the way here. Pick up of uh, what's in that warp prison there? It is a couple of depths. Okay, it's so not too bad. They can focus down some uh, drones there. Maybe even fight a patch where there's no creep. Then oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that sneaky play. I love it. Meanwhile, we do have an infestation pit on the way. I imagine it's for Hive. I don't. I don't think we're gonna see swarm hosts this game. I don't. I don't think so. Anyway. I mean, not a swarm host on that island. Um. Bring down locusts. Maybe. Maybe there's enough. Maybe there's enough room. Maybe it's. It's hard to tell. Oh, but this is. I, I, to be honest, I haven't seen uh, swarm host nights on this map, so I can't. Yeah, and this is looking kind of scary so far. There's not that many roach. There's not that much roach ravager here for Scarlet, um, and she. I don't think she's utilized her spire quite yet. There's no mutilus out. Meanwhile, here we have. Yeah, super clearing out creep here. Um, Scarlet is looking to get a fourth base. 
off to the side, which is, you know, quite nice if she took the forward base and it would be under siege right now from Super. Um, but still, yeah, no, no Mutalist on the way at all. Our uh, Hive is on the way of all things, so maybe looking to go straight into Greater Spire? Yeah, I think this is what she wanted to do, do game two, but, you know, with these Blink Stalkers, they could just blink underneath the Corruptors here. Yes, we will see. Hive is almost done, so we have to see what the next tech is. Oh, oh but look at Super just absolutely demolishing the army of Scarlet. The force field's not going to be enough, and Super with the upset is going to take the series to. Yeah, that was. GG, that was really odd from Scarlet because again it looked like she was kind of being a bit greedy with her tech. Like she got the spire and she was she got the infestation pit, she was working on hive. Um and because of that, she just didn't really have much of a ground army. Again, like she she had yeah. a, a handful of Ravagers, Lings, she had some Banes as well, but Yeah. This is yeah. Yeah, all right. So we have an hour and 48 minutes left before the end of the broadcast. <laughs> that we do. GG, super. Really imp impressive, solid play there. Scarlet looking to... I feel like she, she looked most solid in game number one, right? Um, Game number two, kind of shaky, a little bit greedy, kind of caught out because of it. You know, the, the rush distance is pretty small in purity and industry, and... Uh, yeah, it's kind of questionable being as greedy as she was. Um, in the end, she wasn't able to get away with it, and Super just with a solid push, you know, there wasn't even that much to it. There were two Immortals, a bunch of Sentries, um, Stalkers as well. It's pretty solid. Hmm. I guess we'll see what's happening next. Um, 